let's clear up some entertainment. Marvel President Kevin Feige knows what pecking is. Does that happen? Deadpool versus Wolverine. In an exclusive interview featured on the latest Variety cover, Marvel Studios President Kevin Feige opened up about the unexpected challenges of integrating Deadpool into the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Joined by Deadpool and Wolverine director Sean Levy and stars Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman, the conversation delved into the daring content and unique tone of the upcoming film. Feige candidly admitted, quote, there's a line in the Red Band trailer, you don't have to write this in the article for crying out loud, about pegging, end quote. He went on to explain that his familiarity with the term came from the first Deadpool movie. He said, quote, I know what pegging is, it's in the first Deadpool movie, but there were people I worked with who didn't know what it was, I had to explain it to them, end quote. The Feige, then Feige explained that what pegging was, a scene, the scene where a woman used a strap on to perform anal sex on their male partner. Deadpool comments in the movie that uh, what it was like, remember Marvel's is owned by Disney. The interview also touches upon Deadpool's pansexual identity and the potential for romantic tension with Wolverine. Reynolds quipped, quote, I can speak for Wolverine, but I feel like Deadpool has sexual tension with everything and everyone, end quote. As anticipation builds for Deadpool and Wolverine slated to premiere on July 26th, queer fans can expect a blend of Deadpool's quirky and sexual humor and Marvel Cinematic Universe. Social media today is full of the pegging reference and how Deadpool and Wolverine might elevate their relationship to the next level. I'm about to lose everything that I've ever cared about, and I have no idea how to save it. But you do! Trust me, kid, I'm no hero. This Wolverine let down his entire world. Well, my entire world needs you. Shake on it. Ah! Nicked it. Just got the tip with your little steak knife. This is what I'm talking about. Big slow motion action sequence. Who knows if you live or die? Who's next? Uh. Oh my god. Sabretooth, ready to die. Wait, 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 wait. Time! You look ridiculous. People have waited decades for this fight. It's not gonna be easy. Baby knife, you shoot the double, you take him down. Side control, then full mount, and you ground and pound till he makes no sound because he's dead. Shut the fuck up. Oh my God. Okay, good luck, I'm a huge fan. <laughs> uh, no, anyway, so. Can't wait. The, yeah, can't, definitely can't wait, and also, Oh my God! I mean, when that when Disney bought Fox, when by that they also bought the uh, the IP for X Men mm -hmm. because a lot, for a long time X Men, which are those Marvel was not part of MCU. Mm, I mean, right. they, we have characters like Cap and like Iron Man is because Marvel actually licensed out all the most valuable character long ago, and by the time Disney comes along, they literally have to dig like into the archives to find something <laughs> to find something to make movies with. But mm. Deadpool is such a Weird thing to integrate in MCU though, like because yeah. the the level of humor is very meta. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. The, like it is as if Deadpool is literally in this like contemporary world with us, yeah. where like you can imagine like uh, MCU is like a parallel universe, it's a somewhere. parallel universe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, oh. so, but also by the way, I'm forty four years old. I'm about to be forty five next week, Woo. and I cannot believe I just say. Define pegging <laughs> on on a national broadcast. I just yeah no. Uh, I and, love it for queer news. <laughs> and uh, so yes, pegging. And of course, there's going to be a lot of off color jokes because mm -hmm. this is you know freaking Deadpool. And yeah, Ryan, yeah. I mean Ryan Reynolds is basically Deadpool the way that yeah. we think of yeah. like. Keanu Reeves as like John Wick. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Right. When is when when did we start like basically just one character, one actor, and just that? That's it. And like it would be so when it was so they, weird to, whenever when they want to keep the paychecks rolling in. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I what, what, for me, I, I mean, I know it's the Pegan's the the title of the story, but it's the it's the hot Hugh Jackman for me. I'm sorry, I don't mean to be gay, but like I I want to just go see it just because Hugh Jack. I mean, I just I'm in love with that man and his body and it's great and those scenes. It's funny. Scene, yes, I, I like the sexuality part of it. <laughs>
<laughs> well, I'm I'm slightly cheating. I am a DC fan, uh, Batman uh, Forever. Uh, Sorry. <laughs> but that's okay. My husband th loves uh This is wing. like but an extraordinarily lowbrow, off-brand movie that's like a big box office hit. Yeah. Yeah. You, you're not going to deny this movie yeah. from its shenanigans to its subtle messages. Right. And, you know... I don't said Ryan Reynolds and I don't think that put too subtle. Like every message will be in your face. In your face. <laughs> like like he just put the you. positive messages get lost in all the yeah. cursing and gunfire. I, I but I'm curious. I'm I'm like I'm a kid of the eighties and nineties and I used to watch X Men on, you know, Fox on Saturdays and stuff like that. And so um and I've followed the series. I'm I'm just I'm I'm wondering how I'm gonna feel about this Wolverine and Deadpool. I don't know. I just don't know. I feel I mean I love the actors, like they're both hot as hell, but like I, I just like I like the seriousness of that. I feel like I it's still going to be one of those like side things where like it's not gonna be part of the MCU, the, but right. like, just like there. And when and then they can just throw Deadpool into I don't know a Guardians of the Galaxy movie with right. yeah exactly <laughs> like that yeah, yeah. yeah. Just, exactly that's that's the tone right Guardians right. Yeah, of the Galaxy right. is closest to the tone yes like, if you have all the Avengers Avengers are like serious right. it's not about awesomeness it's not yeah. about funny right yeah that's how I feel about this as well yeah. Yeah. we're probably gonna find ourselves also in another legions of you know right. superheroes yeah. you know that's right yeah. uh, just you know coming to your theaters yeah. in 2026. Yeah. Like summer of yeah. 2026, yeah. right?